So just imagine, you excitedly click on the print button and feel a wave of happiness as you finally hold that perfect photo in your hands. As the printer sheets out page after glossy page, your smile sinks into throne. What came out looks nothing like the stunning image on your screen. It's blurry, pixelated and downright ugly. We have all experienced the disappointment when a photo that looked amazing digitally turns into a complete mess when printed. And even worse, when it's printed on a product, we have placed the image. The issue causing this is called low DPI. But don't worry, there is an easy fix even for free. The real problem that many people who are printing their designs are facing is that when viewed on screen, their pictures may look fine at 72 dpi. But when printed, the higher quality printer tries to stretch to 72 pixels across one inch of paper. The result? Pixelation and blur. For high quality prints, you typically need around 300 dots per inch or dpi. Luckily, it's surprisingly easy to change the DPI of a picture without spending money on Photoshop. While there are many online tools available to change the DPI of an image, I personally prefer using Photoshop. I'm confident that I can achieve the best quality for my image using this software. However, if you are looking for a free option, you can try using one of the alternatives called Photopia. So, let's explore a popular free online tool called Photopia, a simple yet powerful editor that runs in your web browser. Go to Photopia in your web browser. You can use the link provided in the video description. The cool thing is that this tool is free and you don't even need to create an account. Then, drag and drop your photo into the Photopia. Once done, Go to the image in the upper menu and find the image size option. When done correctly, you should see a new window where you can resize the image and change the DPI. Now you have two options. You can either change the DPI and resize the image at the same time, or you can uncheck the resemble box and only change the DPI value. For this video tutorial, I will uncheck the resemble box and then enter the 300 dpi value, which is ideal for printing. Then we need to click OK and it's done. The image will appear unchanged on the screen, but it will now have higher print quality data. It's as easy as that. Why Photopia lacks some advanced photo tools, it delivers amazing bang for the buck by letting you adjust image resolution for free before you print. No more wasted ink or paper on disappointing, blurry printouts. It's quick, free trick that makes all the difference for stunning prints. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions, please feel free to use the comment section and I will do my best to reply to you.